Hey guys, update number two. Several days has rolled on. Oh, uh, as you can see, we got an hotel room. We'll have a look around there in a minute. So yesterday was uh, yesterday was an interesting day. Yeah, the day before that, we we went to Dachau. Um, I am doing videos of this to put onto the other channel. By the way, these are just updates. Um, yeah, I filmed some of Dachau. It um, no words really. It it's hard to explain. Walking around there, trying, you know what I mean? You ain't gonna get nowhere near, trying to imagine what went on. It was just unbelievable, mind blowing, mind blowing. I, the one that um, really, yeah, made your hair stand up on end is standing in the so called shower, the shower room. And the big steel doors that would have locked behind them poor people it was just mind blowing. Yeah. I think everyone should visit places like that just to try and imagine what went on. Anyway, I've done some videos on that, which will come up on the other channel, like I say, but very, very strange experience. I've got to say very yeah, it's hard, it's hard to explain. It really is. I I didn't say a lot in the video, to be honest, because you, you, you just lost for words of what went on. Absolutely horrifying. Horrifying. Anyway, we were coming out of there. Literally was in there all day till, it, till closing time. And the heavens opened up. Big thunderstorm rolled in. And it just rained constantly. We got so far out of there, jumped back onto the autobahn. And it just rained and rained and rained and rained. So we we were soaked to the bone. And we got ourselves down into Conic Sea, right down the bottom of Bavaria. Absolutely soaked. I thought, we're, we're going to have to get another hotel tonight. You know, we're trying to keep things down. And, we don't mind sleeping under the stars. I actually enjoy it. But yesterday was a no-no. It was, we was just absolutely... We couldn't have got any wet if we jumped in a pond. So, yeah, we got back here, emptied everything out. Everything I've got was soaked. I tried wrapping stuff up in plastic bags and all that, but it just got in everywhere. So all my clothes, everything, absolutely soaked. So <laughs> the room... Is in a bit of a mess. We got stuff laid out everywhere. <laughs> yeah, a room ain't bad though. Typical Bavarian hotel room. And straight out the door, well, you can't see. Well, let's have a quick look. Straight out the door, the bikes. So we literally walk across there into here. It was the perfect room. Absolutely perfect. There, all my stuff's on the floor drying out typical blokes everything's a mess <laughs> let's go into the bathroom or is it the bathroom that's the bathroom the toilet the bark everything hanging up pools mm. gertie's been in here yeah, everything, the only form of heat we had was this towel rail. So the boots are on it a lot. So we've been swapping stuff on that throughout the day and night. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I've had some sort of form of man flu as well. Anyhow, get on with it. Get on with it, I ain't gonna let it ruin my trip. But it's, that's easing off now, which is good. But yeah, that's where we are at the moment. Right down the bottom of uh, Bavaria, Conic Sea. And uh, today, we're going to, because Gertie hasn't done it before, go at the Eagle's Nest and take a look at that and uh, then just pot around finding some interesting things and see where we get. It's still a bit cloudy outside, but 
it's dry at last. It's dry. The, the clouds ain't revealing the scenery at the moment. They're uh, still covering it up. But supposedly later today, it's supposed to be absolutely stunning. Bright sunshine, warm. So we're only having this hotel. Well, yeah, we only had it last night. So we've been moving out of it today. Down into the main part of Conic I know there's some big lockers in the car park, so we're gonna put a load of stuff in there to lighten the load so we can go and have a ride around without all the luggage on the bikes. So that's what we're gonna to do today. And let's have another peek, see if the mountains are revealing themselves yet. I don't know. Oh, a little bit, look. A little bit. It is beautiful out here. But hopefully all that will clear today. And we'll all have that beautiful scenery. May I go and do some mountain passes over the next couple of days. What we're going to do, what we plan to do, is do a fair bit round here. Like I say, I'm filming for the other channel. And um, try and make our way back up through Germany off the Autobahn. So we're going to allow more time to get back towards home but off the autobahn and obviously we've got more chance of finding interesting things doing that and we're in on that big slog in a straight line which is, is, is fairly boring and well, that's the plan so i'm going to get some of this stuff packed up we're going to go and have breakfast and uh ship out for the day and see what we get up to all right just have breakfast <sighs> stuffed it's good to see what state the bike's in it's not too bad. It's not too bad. A, bit, uh, a little bit grubby. Yeah, it took a bit of we took a bit of a pounding on that water bar <laughs> with constant rain and the spray and everything. Whew, you could barely see anything. Just winging it a little bit, trying to keep between the two light white lines because that's all you can see. <laughs> well, it's beautiful here. Yeah. It's it's nice and warm. A little bit cloudy, which ain't a bad thing. Let's have a look. Let's have a look around. Little guest house there. Nice little spot. Let's go out the front. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> yeah, no idea what we're doing today, really. I'll say down to Connick Sea itself. Probably Eagle's Nest. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. No rush for anything. Can't quite see the mountains yet. <laughs> nice and quiet. Big yellow hotel. <clears throat> that is going to be our last hotel for a while. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got this throat thing going on. We're eating the dirt tonight. <laughs> yeah, under the stars tonight for a few nights, I think. Go and grab some food from a supermarket and we'll be sorted. It's supposed to rain, it's supposed to be nice and dry and warm, so we'll be good. Anyway, I've got to start packing some of that stuff up. Right, we are out the hotel now, doing the housework. Doing the housekeeping. <laughs> With these weird looking machines, look. Because we got so drenched yesterday, 
everything soaks and is soaking and stinks. We're giving it a wash, but we can't figure out the washing machine. I'm sure we'll manage, because it's all in a funny language. We don't know what that says. I think one of them's out of order. They've written that in English, look. So we can understand that. I reckon I could have a wash in there. Anyway, we're gonna set these off and go and have a, a drink of some description somewhere. All domesticated. <laughs> All washed and dry and then we're off. <laughs> With fresh clothes. Right, moving on. We are in the tunnel, going to the eagle's nest. Just come up on the buzz. We're proper in the clouds, you'll see in a minute. You can't see nothing out there. But uh, yeah, check it out. We're about to get into the brass lift. I probably won't be able to film in there. I'll try, but we'll see how it goes. Cool in here. It's really bright. Wow. You don't believe how bright that is. Yeah. Proper in the clouds. Very warm up here, really warm. Stone towers. <laughs> That's awesome. Start and you Start on the orange. Must be a new thing. Building little stone towers. I ain't seen that done before. So whatever 
this says. Someone will tell me, I guess. I don't think uh, the telescope thing will be much use at the minute. So we are right in the cloud. I think the view's disappeared. Completely. Wat was dit nou precies voor warmte? There we go. One cold beer of the eagle's nest. It is red up here. Absolutely cooking. Even though we're buried in cloud, it's unbelievably hot. I was hoping a little bit of the cloud would clear, but it's not. But it's still gorgeous up here. So bright with the sun in the cloud, ridiculously bright. So we're gonna have this beer, and, uh, and when we go down, we're gonna find some bits and bobs as well that I'm gonna share. Anyway, cheers. into the tunnel.
a bit cooler down here. down from the eagle's nest now down the bottom uh they've got a new bit with the last couple of times i've been here they've been building this a lot of construction going on it's all finished but it's closed but we're going to come back tomorrow we're going to stay around here it's a night in the dirt tonight under the stars although there's not many stars with the clouds as you've just seen at the eagle's nest so we're gonna have a night under the clouds tonight and uh come back here tomorrow yeah turn the camera around so you can see so all this is new all this building am i pointing that in the right direction i think so yeah and apparently they now open the bunkers so yeah definitely while we're here we can give it another day and come and do that just out of interest tonight i'm gonna to go back up to the bike in a minute which is up there i think gertie's having a bit of a bit of a nap <laughs> so i'm gonna go back up there and then we're gonna go round down to the other side of them trees down there because there's some ruins down there that we're gonna take a look at The ruins of a little place called the Berghof that, uh, yeah, totally destroyed now, obviously, which is fully understandable considering uh, the backstory, shall we say. So we're going to take a look at that. I think nature's probably doing a number on it and taking it back, which is which is great. But there's still remnants there that we can we can look at. One thing I've never been able to find the famous tea house, which is also gone. But there's a guard rail and a bench still there. And I think that's further down the hill. But I'm going to try and find that as well. I'll say just little updates of what we're doing. Um, for the rest of the day tomorrow, I'm, I'm, I don't know. No particular plan. If it's hot, we may find some water somewhere and uh, go and have a bit of a dip and a cool down. It's been a beautiful day. Quite overcast today, but it's been really warm really warm still which is nice so anyway i'm gonna go and uh give gertrude a nudge because i think he's asleep <laughs> walk back up the hill and uh get on the bikes our helmets are in lockers and the lovely thing around here there's got lockers everywhere where you can put stuff in so you don't have to cart it around everywhere which is nice We've got a load of luggage down in Connexy in a locker. We've got helmets up here in a locker locked away. We've got, we've got stuff spread everywhere locked up. <laughs> We're going to go round and retrieve it all in a bit. Safe's carrying it. Yeah. Right. Let's take a stroll up there. Yeah, back up the hill. So, yeah, there's all the new bit. Look, I see it a bit better now. that building there i think the bottom half of that was uh, an original building from around here i reckon it had uh, 
different top to it. Obviously it did a little as modern, but yeah, I think it's a two or three story building originally. That used to have loads of interesting information in there. I'm hoping it's been moved into there. A bit of a read up tomorrow. Yeah, so this area, obviously a lot of it, I don't even know if that camera's pointing at me. A lot of it uh, obviously got flattened and some of it destroyed much later on. Some of it in the 80s, I do believe. <clears throat> obviously decisions were made over time and because of uh, obviously what this area was about, they've got to be seen to be doing the right thing, which is more than fair. Gotta be all right at walking around these places. It's all up and down. There's not a lot of flat surfaces to walk on. I've seen a load of bikes roll into here a minute ago. Don't know where they were going because this all this is closed now. There you go, look. Beautiful scenery. Though the clouds still fairly low. That might shift tomorrow. Up the hill, up the stairs. Let's see if we can catch Gertie. What he's doing. It'll be horizontal. Fast asleep, snoring. I don't know what that would have been. I think I've got these stairs. all them bikes here look there he is on the bench right just before we go down to the berg off you'll see I am in some woods but this is the opposite side I kind of forgot about this I found this years ago um, when that fruit cake first first moved to this area, they had a little property on a mountainside, and near a small place. You'll probably find some pictures of that online. And this is where it was. And I do want to add, before some people think this is some sort of weird obsession about this sort of subject. No, 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 no. I've climbed up mountains looking for crash US airplanes and stuff like that. It's everything, everything to do with this sort of era. I just find fascinating. On all sides. It's just, I don't know, I just, I just hold a great interest of it. So yeah, it's not just back then the the enemy side it's just anything to do with this subject on all sides i find interesting anyway if you google one of the first properties that was purchased up here or rented I don't, i'm not quite sure you'll find a picture of like a little cabin with a stone base and like a a veranda and um, this is it, this is where it was. I'll just flip the camera around. Right there. You have to bear with us, this 
doesn't look steep on video, but it's quite steep. And I'm probably going to fall, but hey oh, we'll take that. Ooh, <coughs> grab onto <of> that tree. <coughs> Obviously, I'm out doing all this on my phone, or so I would have edited some original photos into it. But I'll leave that to you guys to take a look. That's it. That's all that remains. Not very big, as you can see. It may, you know, the footprint may have been a bit bigger back then. I do believe from this wall, it had like a, a wooden bit that comes out. Yeah. Probably less overgrown then as well, I would imagine. So there we go. Right, uh, we've had a slight change of plan. We're not going down to the old Burghoff ruins tonight. We're gonna to call it a day today. And we're going to get our luggage from out all the lockers. We've just been and got our helmets and uh, we're gonna find a place to stop. Uh, that will be the next update actually. Our next update will be where we stopped tonight uh, how well that went in the great outdoors and tomorrow back down that new building I showed you earlier for the bunkers and the Berghoff then after that we'll be moving on not sure where but we'll be moving on anyway that'll do for this one cheers for watching guys thank you so much it's much appreciated i know it's not the best all done on my phone but it's a little bit of something <laughs> it shows you what we're up to it gives you a bit of an idea anyway i do cheers for watching guys catch you soon